The title of this episode, Freedom and Whiskey, as you know, is uh, the phrase that was used um, in an article that Jamie wrote, and Roger finds it in his historical research, and so we call the episode Freedom and Whiskey, because it's the clue that brings Claire back to Jamie. The costume that Claire makes for herself and then travels back in, in time with, uh, we called it affectionately the bat suit. And I think that came out of a discussion where we were talking about the costume and that Claire had to have various things and pockets that she needed to hide in it. And somebody said, like a bat utility belt. Yeah, like a utility. And then from that point on, it, we kept referring to it as the bat suit, and that just stuck. And so it was right. the bat suit from that point forward. So when it came time to do this episode, Terry spent a lot of time and thought, figuring out what kind of fabric it would be, what the design would be, how it would be uh, comfortable for Claire to wear and also utilitarian and would have pockets and things where she could like hide. Secret pockets. Secret pockets where she could hide stuff and also would have a zipper where the corset was. So it was, it was just a great, great idea, great concept. And it was a really nice match of costume design that marries into story and character for the show. Well, the taxi and carriage uh, gag, I think we originally talked about doing the transition. It was a challenge production wise because we would have had to go back to the stones and I got this call at some point, like, can we do this anywhere other than the stones? And I'm like, time travel somewhere different than the stones? How am I supposed to do that? And there is a prologue in the beginning of the book that is about where Claire talks about walking through puddles and how it felt like an endless, you know, yep. hole that you fall into. And I'd always loved that. So we took that from there and came up with the idea to do an actual puddle that she steps from. Uh, the idea was to go from the 1968 um, taxi to to the streets of Edinburgh. Didn't we have to ship the taxi cab we to actually, South no, Africa? We, we, we actually had to find a taxi cab in, uh, South, uh, Africa. in South Africa. A 1968 checker cab yeah. in, South in South Africa, Africa. and film the last piece right. of this um, there, uh, which would be the puddle and the POV of the puddle and yeah. her stepping out and all the all the elements. But we filmed part of this on the stages in Scotland, and we filmed part of it in our a green screen stage, which is a technically our parking lot in Scotland <laughs> yes. behind the studio. Uh, and then that's the carriage. Um, and then the rest of that was filmed in South Africa. So right. it was the, the probably one of the longest scenes in the history of Outlander. Just it would have been cheaper to go When we started to go the to shoot to the end of the shoot, yeah. <laughs>